Sans Dollar Cove is a pretty enjoyable film with a really strong sense of community, which was something that I really liked watching. This was released in 2021, it's directed by Fred Gerber, written by Alex Wright and based on the book by Nancy Nagel. And it stars Chad Michael Murray as Brody and Ali McCulka as Ellie. And it's, it's quite a, a pleasant narrative. It's very straightforward. It's not one where there are too many complications. Things seem to develop quite slowly but because the characters are interesting and we have that strong sense of community it really is very pleasant ellie is a, a real estate developer and she goes to this little beachfront town where she's trying to buy this property that the company she works for is going to turn into a resort and she wasn't met with as much pushback as i expected usually with this kind of film when somebody is trying to buy out a location everybody in the town or the village or the area is saying, no, we don't want you, you're going to ruin things. But actually, that's not so much what we got. The biggest issue she faced is that it would affect the peer and, of course, the history that goes with it. And Chad Michael Murray's character, Brody, is trying to convince Ellie to find a different location. Not a different location far away. It can be one that's nearby, as long as it doesn't affect the peer. And the film is largely about him trying to convince her to do that, but also very proactively. He helps. He tries to help her find a better location. And obviously, it's not just Ellie making this final decision. She has a boss she has to try and convince. So even though, as the film progresses, her romantic relationship with Brody grows and they get on the same page, that doesn't mean that her boss is going to agree with any changes that she suggests. So there's a lot in the air. There's a lot that is very uncertain for a lot of the film. And as I said, I was very pleasantly surprised that it wasn't yet another film. Not that I have a problem with them, but there are many of them where everybody is completely against this new build or resort or this change that a company is trying to make. It didn't really have that as, as strongly as a lot of others. And it was it was quite a pleasant surprise, actually, and I completely understand the want to try and preserve this pier as well, because I think, obviously, a, a town's history is very important, and we do get a strong sense of community. Ali spends a lot of time, obviously, with Brody, but also other people within the community. We have this, this fair or fate, which is an absolutely delightful scene it, it's so fun and energetic and colorful and obviously we have scenes on the beach there is a sandcastle building competition which was so joyful and i really thoroughly enjoyed it it's, it's a very happy film in a lot of ways the characters do come across obstacles problems they need to resolve but i found that it was a very uplifting film and it put me in a really good mood. And that's always a always a great feeling to have when watching a film. So it might not be the most detailed. It might not have a lot of action. But it's still a very pleasant experience with very likable characters. I thought Brody and Ellie were both really pleasant. And, and I rather enjoyed watching the characters in this, both independently and together. And I'm pretty sure I referred to Ellie as Ali, which is the actress's name at one point. So apologies if I've done that more than once but that aside it's a delightful film and with a, a really lovely well-written well-developed narrative if you're looking for something with many significant key plot points and twists and turns it's not going to be one of those films but if you're looking for something with a, a really satisfying narrative with a, a good pacing likable characters beautiful atmosphere it was so easy to feel part of this community and get a strong sense of the community spirit which is something that i love because there are many films like this where somebody comes along threatens to build something or renovate something and we're supposed to get a sense of the community pushing against this but if they don't really get the community atmosphere right, it doesn't come across well. But thankfully, the community here was was very much alive and very enjoyable. It's a, it's a lovely film. Sands Dollar Cove is pretty delightful. And if it sounds like it would appeal to you, then I'd say it's definitely one that's worth checking out.